Okay, question 8 basically involves choices. Alright, first you are given 2,500 today. And, or you can choose to take 10,000 ringgit in 12 years. Okay. Or, you can choose to take 25,000 ringgit but in 25 years. The interest rate is 10%. Okay, so what do you do? For year one, I mean for the two, for choice one, you have, um, we want to calculate the present value, right? Okay, the present value is, this is a formula, divide by 1 plus i to the power of n. Okay, so for first year, uh, this one, you are given today. So, your n will be equal to 0. Because you don't have to wait. Okay, you, you take it now. So, your n is 0. So, that's 1 plus 0 0.1 to the power of 0. Your future value is 2,500. So, that equals to when something is to the power of... When it's 1.1 .1 to the power of 0, that would mean 1, right? So... Your value today is still 2,500. That's choice number one. Choice number two, your present value is basically how much you will get. 10,000 and 1 plus 1 to the power of 12. Alright. Okay. So that makes... Oh, sorry. 1.1. 1 .1. Okay. So 1.1... .1 to the power of 12 so you get 3186.31 roughly about okay and for choice number 3 your present value is equal to whatever you will get later and 25 years so that's your n so that's 1.1 .1 to the power of 25 okay 25,000 you divide by that you get 2307.40 okay so now because you have three choices either you take today and you get 2005 you wait 10 years you get 10,000 or you wait 25 years you get 25,000 okay but you want to choose this one or second choice you want to choose to get 10,000 in 10 year in 12 years because it has the highest net present value or it has the highest present value right okay it's not it is it it has the highest present value okay all right